Hello everybody, this is John Fawcett with the National Weather Service Office serving southern New Mexico and far west Texas. This briefing concerns heavy rains and potential flash flooding actually in two different scenarios. Uh, heavy rain is possible with uh, flash flooding with a heavier amounts uh, tonight through Thursday and you could even have rises on the Gila River that's a worst case scenario we'll talk about that later another round of rain late Sunday into early next week and we'll discuss each of those uh, just hang in there with us here and we'll talk about a little bit of history leading into this now you remember the first half of the summer hot and dry. We've had 37 triple digit days so far for El Paso. That's about fourth all time, something like that. And uh, so, you know, we were wondering, is the monsoon scenario, the monsoon pattern ever going to kick in? Well, yeah, it did. In the last two weeks, we've gone uh, above normal for that period of time, at least, uh, over much of the area. In fact, concentrated within the last seven days, uh, much of Otero and Sierra counties and uh, yeah parts of Grant and uh, Hidalgo County above normal precipitation we're playing catch up and one way we're gonna play catch up is with this particular uh, uh, pair of scenarios coming up flash flooding is possible according to the weather prediction center uh, they're looking at the big picture and uh, they're focusing a little more on Arizona with this first uh, setup than the uh, uh, state of New Mexico, but the far western portion looks like, uh, according to them, is going to get quite a bit of rainfall. In fact, this is what they're looking at through Friday afternoon, and this is broad brushed. This is not showing you all the isolated heavy, heavy areas of rainfall. That's uh, kind of hard to do this far out in the future, but um, let's just say widespread one inch to uh, inch and a half rainfall over our area and then it's uh, much heavier further west in Arizona but then when you add the second scenario in extending this out to Tuesday morning uh, we get more of the impacts from that one should that one come to fruition now a flash flood watch is already in effect as of mid-afternoon Tuesday that's when this briefing is being recorded along and west of the Continental Divide and then the rest of our area will join in at about midnight tonight and this will be in effect through Thursday morning but we think we'll have to extend it uh, should these uh, should this heavy rain persist remember a few of those isolated areas could get up to five inches of rainfall that's going to cause some damage from some uh, significant flash flooding moisture surge is already coming up out of Mexico we're getting the high level stuff uh, which will deepen as we go into this evening and overnight and in the bottom uh, bottom left there you see the what's left of tropical storm Javier that's giving us uh, the bulk of this moisture and one to three inches of rain isolated higher amounts is possible by uh, tomorrow evening and uh, then as we go into Thursday evening uh, the area starts to uh, constrict and move further east when we're talking about the deeper moisture so we're still in it Thursday evening but it's starting to back off and then it'll really back off on Friday into Saturday not meaning we're not having storms then no 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 we will just have less numerous storms before the next scenario and here it comes Sunday evening not only do you have another surge of subtropical and tropical moisture coming out of the south we call those monsoon surges uh, but in addition to that it's going to be overriding a weak front coming in from the northeast that's a nasty combination you can get some pretty hefty flash flooding in certain areas uh, should this really happen so we're keeping our eyes on it for late Sunday into uh, maybe early Tuesday uncertainties this is a big one folks too much cloud cover if you get too much cloud cover and we've we've seen this before um, it's actually better for you because it's beneficial light to moderate rain you don't get the surface heating from the Sun that means you don't get the big intense thunderstorms with the fast and furious rainfall causing damaging flash flooding uh, but you're still uh, gonna have to watch for a few areas even with too much cloud cover still a few areas are probably gonna get it uh, exact placement of that second surge of moisture well we think it's gonna be over us 
uh, but we're going to have to watch that. So those two uncertainties keep in mind. Now, as I mentioned, flash flood watch is already in effect for uh, the western portion of our area and the entire area will be under a flash flood watch into Thursday uh, starting midnight tonight. So uh, we're thinking flash flood warnings are in our future uh, but in a worst case scenario you could even have a river flood warning for the Gila River because the Gila region's already had a lot of rain and keep this in mind the heavy rain that's possible starting tonight into Thursday with, with maybe some flash flooding, um, add to that, if that happens, add to that another round Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, and that could be even worse. We'll be watching that. And then, of course, rises on the Gila River. Uh, please monitor the latest information. We haven't had anything like this in quite a while, so we're all trying to get used to it again. Um, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. That's probably where you're watching this. And then um, our webpage. We try to give you the latest information there. Thank you for your time. We'll probably have uh, updated briefings over the next couple of days.